Hi guys, it's Aish. Yes, it's been a while. Welcome back to my channel, Sticky Stitch. Um, I'm not sure which order I'm uploading, so if you follow my beauty channel, new beauty channel, no, the one where I talk about makeup, I would have said it there, but I'll say it here too. Um, I my busy work time is from about April to September. October um, and it gets really busy after the beginning of the new financial year um, which is July 1st for those of you who have a different financial year um, and so I've been extremely busy that was one thing and so I tend to upload less and then the other thing is that I have started on some new medication and basically all I wanted to do was sleep but my sister said just push through the drowsiness and get on with it now she's just finished chemo and radiotherapy so if she's telling me to push on and you know put on your big girl panties I am so I am going to give you an update of my whips obviously because that's what the title is okay so we'll start off with some finishes now actually before I begin I should say that I probably haven't cross stitched for at least a three to four weeks and that's because of the drowsiness that I was feeling I wear contacts that you can't actually sleep in um, so because I knew that I'd be feeling tired when I'd get home I would take my contacts out so if I don't wear my contacts I can't cross stitch um, so I haven't done any cross stitch basically um, but I finished a lot of stuff at the beginning of September I know it's almost November and at the beginning of September and some towards the middle of September so I'll show you those and then I'll give you an update of some of the stuff that I did actually work on okay firstly I will show you sorry I thought I was prepared but I'm not firstly is this one this is and of course I haven't brought any of the pictures of what the project is supposed to look like according to the designer but yeah Oh well okay so this one is by little house needleworks this is summer splendor spelt o the american way o r instead of o u r so that's the design there i actually made a change and see that there's supposed to be a love heart there i actually similar to this one here but just bigger but i put that little notion there if we want to call it that but I really like that and I'll just hold it up a bit for you it's really nice it's um, I used a mixture of DMC and color cascade or classic color works what are they called at the moment um, for this and um, using hand dyed threads it's such a joy I just I just love it some of the colors that I used in here are just I think a, a my like new favorites that brown which is I think called cocoa bean and that that one there of course lime sorry but love it and I have never done a sampler before so I'm gonna call this my sampler probably the one and well not the one and only sampler because I'm doing another one but this was my theory about what was going to be the closest to a sampler that I would finish but then I forgot that I had some other ones anyway then um, I really needed where did I throw it I really needed something that I wanted to start and finish quite quickly um, I wanted um, a short project and I was looking at my freebies and what I'm trying to do is actually finish a lot of the patterns that I've paid for so I, I picked up a pattern that I had actually paid for and you guys had seen me pick this one up and I should think I might have no I didn't bring that one too so this one is by Lizzie Kate I think it's called housework whenever I did not use the speciality threads I used the DMC equivalent like the DMC ones that they provided um, as an alternative and this is just right stitching forever housework never I just thought it was cute it's just a random should have been more prepared but it's just a random linen um, I don't know I just love the slubs on this one it's just there's something about this one that was enjoyable to 
stitch on but that's it there it took me two nights to stitch that I absolutely loved it hold it up there for you so that was just a quick finish sometimes you just need a quick finish and that really fed that need okay and then I thought I had more finishes than this hmm. <laughs> I've got three finishes did I say four okay and this one and if you um, follow KLT charting she's actually used this for her banner I feel guilty because I hadn't ironed it and I just wanted to post it up so this is the fishy cell that was run by KLT charging charting Kim um, and I finished it I was debating whether to edge the edges or put some seaweed down the bottom that she had provided some pictures of seaweed as well to stitch but I've actually decided that I want to do this into a cushion and um, I don't know, I didn't want to write fishy sal on there or the, you know, I, I'm not one for signing my work, so, or putting anything else. I'll remember what it was, so, um, I thought I'd just make this into a cushion. So I didn't want to embellish it too much because when I make it, the cushion edging, I'll probably put something around it. So, anyway, I was thinking of like blue fringing or something. Anyway, who knows when that will actually happen though. So this is it. So I actually finished... I think I showed you six fish and so I finished those two there so that one's like a tribal pattern and this has got different fishy words that was probably the most difficult I've, this is on 32 count Zweigart raw linen so this was supposed to be diagonals and it is but what I did was that was slightly different is even with the variegated thread I went on a diagonal so the variegated thread um, created stripes a diagonal stripes as well and then I used some solids in between but it looks like they all marry together but you can see like all that green stripe that blue stripe that yellow stripe they're all like just a solid DMC color but it also has variegated colors in there as well which was out of orbit by uh, Michelle. All the variegated threads I used in this is actually from um, Michelle from Jodie Ree Designs. Designs. And then we've got this one was which was a bit of <laughs> I laugh when I have to call it black work. So that was that one. And again, it was my intention that I wanted the color changes to go ver um, horizontally. This one again some black work I like that and again this one I wanted it to spiral didn't really go spirally because there wasn't that many colors and I think they're blending in too much it's probably only showing two colors on the screen but that one and then the last one I just used all the different thread colors that was in the rest of the project so I thought that was a cute way to tie everything together so that's it there so I, once again, that's the top, that's the middle row, and that's the bottom row. And I have to say, I still think that the chevron one is my absolute favourite. I love it. It's very cool. Very me. So that's basically it for my finishes. Is that correct term finishes is that the plural of finish I don't know well they're all the whips I've finished whips I've finished projects I have finished okay and these are now just some of my pro projects that I'm currently working on um, and I haven't stitched and the, the weird thing is I want to finish all of these by the end of October I'm hoping I can do it um, given that I haven't been stitching and thank God I'm picking up picked up knitting because again because sometimes when I'm sitting down watching TV I feel the need to do something else whether it's surfing the web reading emails um, responding to emails doing something I like I need to do something and that's why I cross stitch but because I haven't been able to cross stitch I have been knitting and that's really helped with I, I guess I just need to do something because I'm a bit uh, my mind's you know, I need to calm my mind down. Anyway, so, but 
but I have done some cross stitch and firstly I'll start with the sticky stitch sal which I have been a terrible sal person because I've barely stitched on it now this both palette PC and Jester stuff all three of us decided to do um, a pattern from Nora Robert not Nora Roberts <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Um, from Nora Corbett, um, who designs her stuff for Mirabilia, but she has a line, which again is stamped with Mirabilia, but it's called Nora Cor Corbett Designs, and she has a series of witches. So I decided to do Gigi, as did Jess, and then um, Palette PC did Emmy, which is gorgeous, and I want to do it. And she's a machine and finished it um, I don't know, a bazillion years ago. Um, but I'm hoping to finish this by the end of the month. I have said the um, when I showed you last time that I wish I had changed the colors and probably did a color scheme that I tend to gravitate to whether it's my chartreuse greenies or purples or even a brown I feel I think it'd be really cool to make this in a brown or even like a fuchsia but anyway I'm doing the colors towards um, exactly how the pattern asked for other than I've changed the fabric the fabric itself is called um, after the storm yes after the storm from color cascade fabrics and god i'm talking a lot today and i'm talk am i talking too fast i have no idea and i'm usually not the person that plays with hair but anyway color cascade fabrics and it's a 28 count lugana so that's the colorway there so this is all i've done so far um i think i had not done this bit here I'm pretty sure I had not done this bit here so the reason why I thought I want to finish the bottom first and work slowly up because I can't decide if I'm going to do one over one for the skin like Jess did but yeah so I thought if I finish the bottom part first I'll be able to then by then I'll hopefully I will have decided so there's a still a bit quite a bit more to do here and then and then it's basically she's thin as thin can be so there's actually not much stitching so yes I could finish this in the next couple of weeks although I've never beaded in a hoop before so that's going to be interesting we'll see how that goes I might have to fudge some stitching in hand because I usually do I used to do it on frame and I don't have a frame anymore um, so we'll see how that goes but I'm loving that um, okay, so I had two sneaky starts in the sense that I think I showed you last time in my um, whip update. I couldn't decide which projects to do. And thankfully, I do have these um, designs to show you. So the first one is by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and it's called Cherry Blossom Festival Sampler. Again, I just felt I had to start something. So that's the design there. I suppose it goes like that. So that's the design there. It's good. Just got all these cute kawaii designs. Love it. Again, still not, my, not really my style. But, and I'll show you what is my style. But I had to stitch it. So all I have done, and it's fairly, it's a fairly quick stitch. So again, it should have been finished by now. So that's all I've done. That is one day stitching or one night stitching. Um, so I did all the letters and I did the rice bowls. So um, it's not too bad. It looks like I've done a lot. So it's it, looking at it, it's actually quite satisfying. Um, but I just love the lettering on this one. I don't know why, but I just love the lettering. It's probably not um, politi politically correct. I don't know, is it? But love it. And I love the Frosted Pumpkin stitcheries designs because what they do is they offer a colored pattern a black and white pattern 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 oh, who says that Jennifer pattern I didn't really learn. and what did you say button button pattern so they offer a color pattern and a black and white pattern and they offer um, like split over two pages so it's uh, the design itself is slightly larger or and then so that's two and then they offer a black and white and a colored but the design is done on one so that way if you if you're um, a tablet user um, you can actually make the picture bigger you know 
because this is how we do it and that way you don't have the picture cut off and you're trying to work out where it all fits which I really okay, love. Okay with the joys of editing you just you really don't know what just happened but if you're wondering has she shifted positions I possibly have. Okay so what was I going to say yeah so the Frosted Pumpkin does provides different versions of their patterns and I just want to say that anybody if you are watching anybody who is watching this and is a pattern designer it would be great that if one of if you provide even minimum of two like um, one design where people can photocopy it and then cross it off so the design is bigger so it might go over two pages or four pages but another one where the design is all on one page and us tablet users can just do that that and make it bigger that would be awesome <sighs> okay so that's that one and my last whip is in this daggy Ziploc bag because I sometimes take it to work and I don't want it to get wet when I'm walking to and from the station all that sort of stuff so let me get it prepared for you this design is from Isabel Harcourt and of course I haven't got a design in here the pattern in here it's from Isabel Harcourt design um, Vautier and the design is called Les, Les Nuits des Songes or something like that I can't remember anyway I'm sure I wrote it down here so that you guys are not disappointed with my crappy French speaking so this is a, a, a sampler, but I, I don't know, I just love her designs. I just think they're absolute, for a sampler, they're just pure class. Um, I just love it. So this is, again, on raw linen. This is 28 count. Um, 28 count is pretty much my limit, but I always order 28 count hand dyed fabrics. And if you're not aware, because of all the dyeing price, whatever, they can actually end up being almost a 32 so I've just gone you know I probably could cope with a 32 count and I and I did buy it for my fishy cell and I'm basically on the limit I yeah a 14 count is pro I would love I actually would love to work on a 36 count fabric I think I just like the aesthetic of it but anyway <laughs> so again this is raw linen it is I am using as my thread um, I'm just using a silk from Caron water lilies and I'll just show you one so that's the color name there 204 Umbria and yes that's how much it costs in Australia and that's the color there so it's basically like a maroon burgundy color and it changes to a green color and I just oh, it's one of my favorite colorways ever but I love it I did actually buy um, another two skeins of this one purely because I want to make sure that they were from the a similar dye lot and they are so otherwise they that one that I just showed you is actually looks different to the one that I'm using anyway anyway so this is it there I love this I wish I had finished this so I could show you as a finish so that's it there um, so I've done some of the letters here and then I've done that part of the owl if you haven't worked that out now I know that there's some been some talk about oh when you do when you use a variegated thread do you pay attention to where the color changes are going to go or whatever I don't in the sense that like with the fish I made a decision are the colors going to go vertical or horizontal but you know the color changes but that was it um, with this one I won't other than I will make sure that the other eye is the same color 
so all I will do is I'll start stitching with the green up here and hope for and then the, hopefully the red progression will start there for the other eye but I just love it it's just I love the colors I have to show you that see don't you just love the colors it's so cool it's just oh I love it I've stopped stitching on it I just remember now why I stopped stitching on it somewhere here I have made a, like a huge mistake like massive and then well I basically stopped stitching but I've been also avoiding with this one I was avoiding basically unpicking my stitches and um, my stitches my bitches um, and that's why I haven't touched it so yes I roll my work okay that's it guys that is all of my whips I will be doing um, some enabling I will show you some of the stuff that I've purchased um, in another video who knows I might just take this off so it doesn't it looks like I filmed, filmed it on a different day who knows um, so thanks for sticking by thanks for continuing to subscribe and those all of you who have subscribed thank you and all of you who continue to subscribe thank you thank you I really appreciate it um, who knew who knew at the start of this year that I would actually make videos on cross stitch I didn't know that somebody said that I'm just gonna you're dreaming um, yeah and again who would knew that I'd actually pick up knitting and also try to learn how to knit the correct way um, I think I might actually do some separate videos on the knitting stuff because I think it'll be interesting for people to see the journey like I I never read a pattern so I have knitted before um, but basically like when mum was doing like a sort of like an Aran type sweater I would do some of the cabling and all that but she would tell me what to do and I would just do it and then when it got to a certain point then she would just take home and finish it um, I have cro like I've crocheted slippers um, you know doilies all that sort of stuff but I've never actually followed a pattern so it'd be really nice to learn how to read a pattern because I do have some goals with it but I'll do that in a separate video and that way nobody has to watch it if you're not interested in knitting but those of you who are in interested in knitting may watch it <sighs> okay guys I hope to see you soon I actually might film something right now and um, and we'll see anyway take care guys I'm looking forward to seeing all of your whip updates and I have been watching a lot of your videos recently you would see that I've you know, made some comments it's just I haven't been watching much of the tube as well okay take care guys and I will see you next time ciao